pulse 90, temperature normal, the blood pressure 190 over 120, doctor. There's only one thing that can drive the blood pressure up that way. Yeah. Increased pressure of the respiratory and vasocenters. There has to be hemorrhaging. There's nothing we can do. Good. The other aneurysm? Yeah, last night. We came home from dinner. She was happier than she'd been in days. Turned around, she was unconscious. From her angiogram, I didn't think that aneurysm was operable. She would have died right in the emergency room if I hadn't done something. Of course. So much bleeding, I could practically operate blind. I couldn't see what I was doing. Oh. Wasn't able to ligate it, so I did manage to put a patch on it. Under the circumstances, I, I think that was quite an accomplishment. The problem is how much damage has already been done. Her blood pressure is rising. Well, there's nothing to do but to let her ride it out. Yeah. I, I, I hope you know how terribly sorry I am. Thank you. We'll take her up to neurology as soon as it's possible. I want to be near her as much as I can. As soon as we get into her room, we'll do an EEG. There still is a chance. What I've been hoping for is more like a miracle. Seneca, she stopped breathing. In today's episode, the part of Mary Ryan will be played by Carol Richards. February on One Life to Live. You came all this way for nothing. I don't feel that way at all. Inside every love. I'm never giving up on you. There are lies. Behind every secret. I slept with Natalie. There is pain. Miss me? Yes. And for every pleasure. This has been the best day of my life. There is a price. You're not the father of my baby. The one that stabbed me in the back is you. You're not my sister. Get down! One Life to Live. All this month, weekdays on ABC. Weeknights on Soapnet. You know how it is. You look in the mirror one day and you go, how am I going to lose this weight? E-Diet's meal delivery from eDiets.com. It's the easiest, smartest, most delicious way to eat great and finally lose the weight. I know you're thinking, eat great and lose weight? Really? Really. You'll love the food. There's no MSG, no fake sugars. The food tastes fantastic. It's awesome. Very delicious. It tastes wonderful. Call now or go to eDiets.com. Choose from over 100 fresh prepared meals. Not dehydrated diet food, but really delicious food. eDiets will deliver your favorite meals and snacks in a chill, fresh container. All you have to do is relax, enjoy, and eat great all the way to slim. I lost 115 pounds. 65 pounds. 25 pounds. 94 pounds. Along the way, eDiets.com gives you real support. Terrific online tools, access to registered dietitians and trainers, and friends who care about your success. They're there with you to hold your hand, and they really care. Truthfully, I like everything about eDiets. I've lost 30 pounds. All of a sudden, I find myself a changed person. Hey, I made it to 50 pounds, and look at me now, I'm 60 pounds. Millions of people have turned to eDiets.com to lose the weight. Now it's your turn. Call or go to eDiets.com and sign up for seven full days of meals, three meals per day, fresh prepared just for you, plus snacks. So don't wait. Join eDiets, eat great food, and lose weight fast. I believe that eDiets can change people's lives. My husband will often say, you're the hot wife. That's just boosted my confidence a lot. eDiets has changed my life forever. Call to find out how you can get one week of meals absolutely free. That's right. One week of fresh prepared food, one week of weight loss, one week of success, free. Free? What are you waiting for? Call or go online to get started now. Call 1-800-279-1604 or visit eDiets.com now. Jack? 
I, uh, I like my eggs like my women. Soft and pliable. <laughs> well, you better be careful. They're gonna be in your hair. <laughs> Sorry. Some of the male chauvinists in me seems to, uh, keep breaking through. Mm, mm, I noticed. I'm glad you're not mad anymore. Who says I'm still not mad? There's an affectionate side to me that exists hand in hand with feelings of outrage and betrayal. Mm. Well, then why don't you have some eggs? Maybe they'll do for you what I haven't been able to do. Make you forget. How can I forget? I know that in a couple of minutes you're going to be headed out of here to spend the day with uh, pretty boy Floyd. Or should I say, uh, Mr. Wright? Well, I admit it was a dirty trick. <laughs> but it was silly and funny at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, when someone tricks my girl into turning me down for dinner so she can go and interview a Mr. Emerson Wright, and he turns out to be Curly, your boss, in disguise, I don't think that's funny. Look, I didn't have dinner with him. I sat and talked to him for 20 minutes about business. Uh -huh. More than that. I talked about, uh, explained about you. What'd you tell him? Well... I told him that I love you, and that you love me, and that I like Sam, but liking is all it'll ever be. And uh, did that discourage him? Well, not very much. It's pretty persistent. Well, maybe I'd better explain it to him. Oh, no, please don't. Now, you remember I didn't have dinner with him. I came home and made dinner for you, and I tried to make things up. Making up was terrific. Mm. How about quitting? What? I don't like you spending eight hours a day uh, being chased around the desk by your boss. He doesn't chase me around the desk. Yeah, well, just wait. He will. Well? Hmm? Well, aren't you going to go on? I was just beginning to enjoy it. Enjoy what? You're being jealous. I'm not. Well, damn it, I am. And it isn't just being jealous. It's that I'm not dumb. You know, Curly doesn't see you as just another one of the girls from the office typing pool. I don't like you being together. I, I don't like you working with him. I don't like you sharing interests with him all day and from the way things look, half the night as well. Jack, underneath all that joking, Sam is really a very hardworking guy. Now, I'm not the most experienced person in the world, but I, I think he's a pretty good newsman. He certainly tries hard enough. Mm -hmm. What's he doing on Channel R? He's trying to make a name for himself. Yeah, I wish that was all he was trying to do. Oh, look, he likes me. Big deal. Boys have liked me since I was 12. That doesn't mean I like them. Yeah, mm hmm Yeah, but, uh, you do like Sam. Yes, I do. He's like a brother to me. You know, we in, I'm comfortable with him, we, in, we enjoy each other, we compete, we have fun. That's all there is to it. Mm -hmm. So far. <sighs> Why don't you eat your eggs? You know, you're being Jack the Churl. I, I just don't understand. All I want is for you two to be friends. Because we have so much in common? Because it would make me happy. Oh... Look, I hate it. Every time you're in the same room together, you start to glower, then he starts to bait you. And it, isn't there some way that the two of you can get along? You know, it seems to me, Mary, that, that probably your idea of happiness is a, a picnic in Central Park with just you and me and your father and cute Sam all together in one huge love feast. Well, I have mm, to Well, there's admit. no way. No way. No way you're going to talk me into becoming buddies with a guy who's busily trying to take you away from me. Jack, don't you believe the things I've been telling you the past three months? What things? About loving you. I was then. This is now. Look, boys have liked me for a long time. The first time somebody tried to kiss me, it was in the seventh grade in the cloakroom, and I, I hit him over the head with, with my, my lunch pail. And I've kept men at a distance ever since then. I've out-wrestled them. I've out-sat them. I've out-talked them. I've done anything. Because I was waiting. 
waiting for that one special person to come along. That person that I could love and trust and admire. And someone that I would really want to be with so I would know that that was the person. And you are that person. The one I've been waiting for. And I love you. And I trust you. And I admire you. And I just want you to be able to believe that. The trouble is, Marion. I have a lot of trouble trusting anybody for more than about five minutes. You can trust me. You can. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll try to go easier on your friend. Thank you. No, no, no promises now. You don't have to promise, Jack. I trust you. That's enough. Bucket, clear the airway. No sweat spray. Yes, right. doctor. Move it! I am, doctor. Turn it on. A little slower, please. She could have gone right then. She's all right. Are you going to keep her on the respirator? As long as she needs it. You might do a track on her then. Yeah, thanks. Such a lovely, bright lady. It seems so terribly unfair that something like this should happen to her. Well, I'm not willing to say that it's happened yet. As long as there's the slightest chance that she can come to. And be herself again? Yes. I took six years away from her. Tell me how I'd like to give those years back. Six years I spent preoccupied with myself, self-stealing her time. The thing I'm most worried about now is that I won't have a chance to. It seems to me she did several years worth of living in just these past few months. Thank you, Doctor. It's very kind. She could wake up. She could. I keep watching her eyelids, waiting for one of them to flutter, but it never does. It hasn't been that long since surgery. No. Of course, I... I have to get back to my office. If you need anything, you know where you can find me. All right, thank you. There's no change in her blood pressure, Doctor. Thank you, nurse. Seneca, there's no one anywhere who could have done more than you've done. The question is whether I should have done anything at all. No. She would have died back there in the emergency room. Maybe that would have been better, Buggy. This is what Nell didn't want to happen. Being kept alive on a machine. She isn't gone yet. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. For a second, I... Look, she's just been through surgery. There's no reason she shouldn't be awake. She shouldn't be asleep from the sedative. And this doesn't have to be coma. Right. Nurse, uh, I want you to order an air team. Give her a tracheotomy. We can take the respirator away from her face, put it down on her throat. It'll make her rest All easier. All right, Doctor. Bucky, operating was a terrible gamble. I'm not sure it was fair to her. What was the alternative? The pulse is so strong. Now? 
Wake up. Please? Please? It could happen any time now. Well, can you hear me? It's Seneca. No. Uh, no. We'll get her up to her room and we'll give her the EEG. It'll give us the answer. Right. I only pray that uh, it's the answer we want. Shockers. Today is going to be your perfect day, Greenlee. First, a confession. Oh, you okay? I'm pregnant. With my child. Then, a nightmare. Emma? Oh, my God. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. Your assignment? Capture the boldest, flirtiest lashes. But lose the book. New One by One Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline, New York. Your weapon, the revolutionary Lash Catcher Brush, captures, coats, and deep clumps every lash all at once. Make some bolder. One by one. Make some flirtier. One by one. For bold lashes without the bulk. The old one by one trick. One by one. New from Maybelline. Thursday. Finally. Dinner with the girls tonight. I really want dessert. I better skip breakfast. Yep, this is all I need. Skipping breakfast to get ahead? Research shows that women who eat breakfast, like the Special K breakfast, actually weigh less. Now in new multigrain oats and honey. With honey-kissed whole grains, you'll never want to skip breakfast again. Make your breakfast beautiful. This February on The View, the hottest talk show in daytime just got hotter with Jennifer Aniston and Ty Burrell. Red, White & View has its eye on politics with Massachusetts Senator Scott Brown. Plus, The View's got email. Now you, the viewer, get to ask the co-host questions. And just in time for Valentine's Day, millionaire matchmaker Patty Stanger with Matters of the Heart. Then, The View's third annual Mutt Show, where no one here is rolling over and begging because they're all walking tall. Whatever the topic, you know these ladies will have an opinion. Only views, all this month, only on ABC. That's happened. No, Bolax had a stroke. Oh, that's terrible. Dad, I'm very sorry. He brought her in last night. I was off on a seminar. And Seneca Bolak did the surgery himself. Well, do you think that was a good idea? Well, it, it was a decision of the heart. He, he wanted to do something. And, well, certainly without surgery, she could have died in a matter of hours. Oh. Well, look, how's she going to be? How is she now? We don't know for sure. I'm terribly pessimistic about the outcome. And I'm not at all sure that last night's decision is the best that could have been made. In what way? Well, I, I don't believe a surgeon should operate on one of his own family. It's, it's too much responsibility and too much emotion. A, a, a loss of objectivity. And, and, and if something doesn't go right afterwards, too much guilt. It's true, but, Dad, look, you, you can understand the impulse, and, I mean, if she was going to die anyway. Yes. I mean, what other choice was there? Jill, you don't do surgery unless you think objectively you can help the patient. And this won't? Well, let's say the chances are remote. Well, what's going to happen? Oh, I don't even want to speculate. I, maybe I'm wrong. I, well, I certainly hope I am. Did you want to see me about something? Well, I... I certainly don't want to add to your worries this morning, but... Well, I was wondering if you'd seen Faith. Oh, she went out to the beach house last night. No, I, I know that she was supposed to. I mean, I know that she broke up with Pat, and, well, she thought it might be a good idea if she went out there, she'd get her head straight. Yeah, she was pretty upset, and I thought getting away might do her some good. Yeah, well, so did I. And then I asked her to bring me some things from the beach house, so she was 
Buster stopped by my apartment to get a list, and then she never showed up. Well, she was taking this thing with Pat Ryan very hard, and she probably couldn't think of anything else. She just forgot. Dad, that's not like her. Well, I, I don't know. Why do you ask me? I, I mean, did, did you uh, try and reach her at the beach house? Dad, I tried twice, and there was no answer. Well, maybe she's not answering the phone. Look, if she was there, she'd answer the phone. I mean, she'd, she'd be hoping that Pat was calling her. Well, I, I don't think there's anything to worry about. Look, I... I just keep... keep thinking, you know, about this person that's been after. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing like that. She's just probably out on the beach, uh, being young and melancholy about Pat Ryan and her broken heart. Maybe. Yeah, well, she'll cry and suffer, and she'll get a lot of it out of her system, and... When she comes back, she'll be a new person. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I don't know. I guess maybe I'm just being silly. Come on, don't worry. She'll be all right. I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you later. Next, take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless, only on SoapNet. Nine years from now, something awful is going to happen. Am I dead? How do you live when you think you're going to die? Oh, my God. Being Erica, all new this Wednesday at 11, only on SoapNet. Valentine's Week brings hope for three couples. First, Sonny and Brenda plan their lives together. We are unstoppable. Then... I'm just getting started. Patrick fights to win his wife back. And... Pregnancy test results are back. Is Sam having a baby? Watch General Hospital, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Amy, you're gonna love college. Comforter. Hey. Mr. Cuddles. Toilet paper. Oh, here's Scott. Here. It's got extra soft tissue. Check out the pattern. Same soft rolls we use at home, honey. Do you know, Scott? Scott Extra Soft is softness done right. Your soup and sandwich combo. Enjoy. For when you want your favorite cafe to be your own kitchen. New Stouffer's Stuffed Melts and Soups like Creamy Tomato Bisque. Served with a three cheese and ham stuffed melt. Two cafe favorites now in one package. New from Stouffer's. Dry hair attracting attention? Get triple nutrition from Garnier Fructis. It's moisture with essential nutrition. Three weightless oils work deep, transforming dry hair into silky, sensational hair. Three times stronger, three times healthier. Fructis Triple Nutrition. Before you use Monistat for a yeast infection, know this. BV, the most common vaginal infection, has very similar symptoms. The Vagisil screening kit tells you if you have a yeast infection or need to see a doctor. So don't guess, test. The Demir has captured Rafe and replaced him with a doppelganger. That's one good looking dude! Can the real Rafe stop their sinister plan? Welcome to your worst nightmare. Before his double gets his hands on Sammy. Anytime you want to kiss me, just go for a bed. Watch Days of Our Lives, weeknights at 6 and 11 on SoapNet. People are talking about General Hospital's Lucky and Siobhan. D. Hunter Roscoe posted on Facebook, Finally a love for Lucky. He and Siobhan are great together. Charlotte May adds, This is great. I hope it works out for these two. Laura Bruno says, Men are always sexier when they're happy and in love. And Lori McPherson Draper sums it all up. They are just the cutest couple. Way to go, GH. I love this storyline. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Who's coming and who's going? SoapNet has a status update on your favorite stars. On General Hospital, just before he hosts the Academy Awards, critically acclaimed actor James Franco returns to wreak havoc in Port Charles. I'm a whack job. Ask anyone. Carrie Payton is now on staff at General Hospital as Dr. Terrell Jackson. So it seems. House hunter Suzanne Wang is Carol Chang, wedding planner. It's a pleasure to meet you. And on One Life to Live, General Hospital's Ted King is moving to Landview. Quick. Keep up with the latest status updates on SoapNet. Go to SoapNet.com to sign up for the weekly SoapNet newsletter, the source for all the latest soap news. Enjoy a weekly email with links to photo galleries of your favorite stars, cast comings and goings, storyline sneak peeks, fun quizzes, and the scoop on special events. Sign up now at SoapNet.com. to the idea of you being uh, an early riser. I thought uh, newsmen uh, worked half the night and slept half the day, you know? Successful newsmen. Uh, sleep is a luxury I can't afford. Ah, well, look, I hope you'll change your mind about having some need. I mean, you can't afford to do without uh, sleep and food. Um, no, no, I, I never eat in the morning. Uh, it's okay. 
Mary tells me you were great friends with Jimmy McLarnan. Now, how would somebody your age know about Jimmy McLarnan? <laughs> he was welterweight champion before you were even born. Anybody who's read a history of boxing knows Jimmy McLarnan and Barney Ross. Oh, Barney Ross. <laughs> they were giants in those days. And you knew Jimmy McLarnan? Well, uh, he knew me, called me Jimmy. <laughs> Something. Go, Sam. Now you're gonna have to sample an intern's breakfast. I know you're not hungry, but anyway. <laughs> how many interns does this feed? <laughs> and don't sit there worrying about how you're gonna pay for it. You're our guest. Mary's told you exactly how generous they are over Channel R with their salaries. Yeah, he says, uh, she says you work for the love of it. <laughs> <laughs> Money isn't everything. This is ambrosia. Oh, I thought you'd like it. <laughs> you don't look to me like you've been eating regular. Oh, sure I do. You know, one good meal a day is not enough, Sam. Why don't you come by every once in a while and have breakfast? It's a favor to me, so I won't be worrying about you. Thanks, that's real nice. Good morning, of everyone. Ah. Oh, hey. Hello, darling. Hi. Hello, Ellie. Mr. Ryan, Mrs. Ryan. Hello, Sam. Fancy meeting you here. Maeve has been fortifying me for the labors ahead. It may be a long day. Hi, Mary. Hi, Sam. I can see from your plate that Mom's taking you in. <laughs> you want some coffee? Oh, uh, no, thanks. I think I better get to the office. Jack just brought me by so I could get a scarf and gloves. It's freezing out there. Good idea. Who knows where we'll end up today? <laughs> well, I'll be down soon. Well, Jack, how about it? Can I bring you anything? Uh, no, thanks, Mary. Uh, and I just had breakfast. Oh, yes, of course. Well, um, I think I'll get myself a cup of coffee and check on lunch. You're a very lucky man. You know something? I tell myself that five or six times a day. <laughs> well, I better see if I can give a hand. Were you waiting for something? I'm gonna take Mary to the office. Oh. Well, like I said, there's no sense in my seeing her over to the office then, is there? No, no, there's not. Uh, besides, it's, uh, it's, uh, not nine o'clock yet. We're still on my time. Oh, John Ryan, stop it. I want to hear what these two have to say to each other. Maybe you better put a time clock in your apartment so Mary can punch in and out. Oh, I hope that won't be necessary. Was it you said before about a long day? Uh, you're not planning on sending Mary out to interview Mr. Wright again, are you? Before Mary came to work for Channel R, I wondered there'd be overtime. We have a lot to do today, and she may not be through by five sharp. Mm, just so it's business. Of course. Because I wasn't business last night. And I don't want any more stunts like that, okay? Well, you know how the news business is, Jack. It's hard to anticipate in the morning what you'll be doing that night. Well, I know one thing you won't be doing, and that's taking Mary out to dinner. You got that? Do you make all of Mary's decisions for her, or uh, are you just in charge of dinner dates? I just don't want any confusion, that's all. Come on, Jack. We're all grown up here. And Mary's explained your relationship in some detail. Now, I don't think I have to uh, tell you what a wonderful girl Mary is. I'd say that you were a, a very lucky guy. Yeah, I, uh, I happen to agree with that, so uh, let's agree on another thing, huh? That uh, office romances are bad for everyone involved, so uh, if you plan on uh, giving Mary an opportunity to learn the TV news business with one hand while uh, you uh, try to take advantage of her with the other... <laughs> take advantage of Mary Ryan? Knock off the smile. Jack, where did you get the idea that you should go around and tell the people who Mary, Mary works for what they should do and what they shouldn't? just telling you to stay away from Mary. Look, you may be able to tell Mary what to do, I don't know. But you can't tell me, so give it up, huh? Because there's no way that I'm going to take orders from you. Mm -hmm.